that this is definitely the first time you've gone out this early. Um, just what the emotion was in that locker room moments after this, just seeing the end of the season. Uh, I mean, you're disappointed and kind of shell shocked that it's over. You pour so much into I mean, every season, but coming off of last year, trying to defend and give ourselves a chance to keep uh, advancing. <clears throat> it's a tough way to for the season to end. Like you said, it's unfamiliar territory, but you know, proud of the fight that we had and. You know, you know, the Lakers played played amazing all series, played to their strengths, and uh, obviously that led to you know them getting out of the series and moving on. So got to give them credit; they played great basketball. And you know, for us, just an opportunity to kind of take stock of where we're at, um, keep the confidence that we can you know come back and be back at this stage next year. Um, so we're kind of in between disappointment, but still, you know, maintaining some pride about how we, you know, how we play this year. Steph, uh, Steve said that um, he, he thought you guys were maxed out, and Draymond said he thought that you were maxed out. Did you feel that way? And if so, when did you maybe feel that? Did you feel that during this? Like, did you have a feeling that this wasn't a championship team during the season? I mean, we lost, so it's like a hard truth at the end of the journey. It's not anything you allow yourself to. No, no competitor believes that until you're proven that you're not a championship team. And that's what you know. Getting beaten in the playoff series means basketball is over for this year. So, felt it in the fourth quarter with about seven minutes left. Um, you know, just really never heard that from us before in terms of trying to make sense of, you know, losing a series like we did unless, uh, you know, it's been in a final. So got to accept it, move on, and, you know, try to be better next year. Yeah, I, I know it's still fresh, but how do you view bigger picture, the future, the decisions that need to be made this summer, and, um, you know, some of the, you know, Draymond, Bob, and, and some of the situations that need to be resolved? Uh, well, all collectively kind of handle those um, in, in in the right time. You know, uh, I think obviously, you know, start at the top and <clears throat> working down in terms of, you know, trying to put together the best team possible next year, making sure all the pieces fit and understanding, you know, how we can retool to put ourselves in a position to be a legit championship contender because for us that's all we're worried about and that includes you know Bob that includes uh, you know DG other decisions that we got to make but at the end of the day that'll that'll settle itself um, over over the course of the next couple of months Steph uh I know it didn't end the way that you wanted it to, but coming into this series, I think Draymond said something to the effect of, well, they have a GOAT referring to LeBron James, and so do we, referring to you. And uh, a lot of us weren't sure if we'd get to see this battle between you and, and LeBron again, going through it again, playing in these games again, the moment you all shared on the court. Can you just reflect on, on that, on this stage, on, on what this rivalry has sort of meant to basketball over the last couple of years? I mean, it's... A, just a battle every time and I know there are a lot of different narratives within each of the series that we've had and different teams and teammates and all the all the above um, but it's just great basketball great competition uh, understanding who LeBron is and who he's been his entire career and the accolades and the you know, championships he's won and the records that he has like he's an amazing basketball player um, and he brings the best out of you, and you know you have to be your best if you're going to try to beat him. And I think he feels vice versa. Um, and so you uh, you love those uh, experiences. Um, somebody's got to win, and it's part of the nature of what, what we're dealing with. Um, but there's so much respect and, um, again, appreciation for the, the – the battles and the experiences in the back and forth because it's basketball at the highest level and that's all you can ask for. 
Ron look into it? Steph, um, there's obviously been a lot of conversation over the years about you guys as an outside shooting, jump shooting team. And you you and Clay have established yourself as two of the best, obviously, in history. Um, the last few games weren't at your level, at your standards. How much of that was their defense? How, how do you sort of view the way the last few days went in terms of three-point shooting for you guys? It obviously wasn't great, but um, Again, there's a lot of confidence in the ability to continue to shoot at a high level, and you might tweak some things. I understand some learning lessons, especially like how game four went, where you know shots that we wanted to take and make didn't go in, and whatever you kind of live with that. But as you move forward, you make the necessary adjustments while maintaining the confidence that you can shoot the ball at an extremely high level. I think for us in this series, like it was a battle of strengths, right? Like. They're an extremely big team, 80 in the paint. You know, Braun flying around all over the place. They were trying to take away certain things, and it worked. Um, we didn't have a, a change-up pitch to throw, um, you know, in this series, which kind of what led to, you know, the results. So it doesn't mean you stop shooting. It just means you, f you figure out a different way to be impactful. and. Um, you know, come back with the same mindset. Just a quick follow-up. How much did their size bother you with shooting, do you think, throughout it? I mean, their game plan was obviously to press up on the three-point line, funnel us in there, AD in the back, clogging everything up. Um, like I said, we just didn't have enough variety in the way we were trying to score um, after game two. So good learning lessons for us when it, you know you understand a team that has a guy like him in the paint we got to figure out different things and we just didn't do it three more Dalton, Tim, and Rachel. Steph Steve said that it felt like you guys were swimming upstream from the very start of the season in your eyes what were the factors that kept obstacles on the road to trying to repeat this season I mean you could probably fill in the blank there uh, from training camp to now it's just the reality we were living in and trying to keep things positive and optimistic around you know what we we're trying to accomplish this year and look we we're one of the last eight teams it's not a moral victory at all it's just understanding that you know in game six of the conference semifinals you had a chance to <clears throat> uh, push it to the end so um, again there's a lot of pride and you know, there's a lot of pride in what we accomplished, but there's also an understanding that this is not good enough and we have to be, you know, a lot better next year and start, uh, you know, re reestablishing ourselves as a legit championship contender because we weren't this year. Steph, when you think about getting better, becoming a championship level team, how much responsibility or onus do you put on the young players? You kind of went into the season with a bunch of them. Obviously, Wiseman got traded and you know, Moses is the only one. Well, Jordan's playing minutes in, in the end. Um, how much do you expect from them next season, and, and how much is there? Uh, and, and, and was it disappointing not to see, see them get more time or, or produce more in these playoffs? There's a lot in there. I think, uh, I mean, everybody's going to get better. Everybody's going to take the next steps. Everybody's going to learn the lessons that you learned this year and try to put them into to use next year. I don't know what the opportunity is going to be. I don't know what the the roster will look like. I don't know, you know, sitting here right now, what you know, uh, open the night is going to look like in terms of who's going to be asked to do what. But I have a lot of confidence in everybody being able to take advantage of the summer. You know, add to your skill set, add to your your mental preparation for the year, and the list of guys that kind of fall in that bucket. Um, be ready to take those next steps because that's the the journey of your your career that you that you're always on. So um, it's just hard to say specifics right now about what it'll look like because you know this league is crazy and things can change really quickly. Last one, Rachel. Steph Draymond was just expressing the confidence he has in you, him, and Clay as a core and what you guys can <clears> do in the future. What is it for you knowing those two guys and if you do stay together through the next couple of years, what does that make you feel like you could do? Um, no matter how different it looks, I think we understand each other, what we all bring to the table, the trust that um, 
you know, we're just going to compete until the wheels fall off. And, you know, that is something that is, should not be taken for granted in this league because we've proven that we can we can do it. And even in this series and this this year, like, things were looking bleak at a, you know, one point in the regular season. And you find yourself um, in the second round trying to just scratch and claw your way out of it. So... We're going to fight and we're going to compete and we believe in each other. Um, and that goes up and down the roster. Uh, and hopefully there's belief in us to be able to lead that. So uh, I feel like that's a two-way street and that's the progression of the stage that we are in our careers to keep doubling down on it. So I think we're excited about that opportunity as, as terrible of a feeling it is as it is right now. Um, I feel like we can come back. Great. Thank you. We'll have a play in here in the hall.